Hello everyone! So today I'm going to be doing something really cool and kind of gross. I got myself this little digital microscope. I saw Tina Young and my friend Hayes Spade do a video on it. So I got really inspired and I got myself this little guy from Amazon for around $30. So a lot of estheticians and professionals, they use it to see everything up close. I'm kind of nervous because I always have this perfect lighting to make my skin look really flawless, but you guys are going to see it all. Um, my pores, my zits, my moles, uh, maybe even a beauty blender and a dirty makeup brush, highlighter, makeup on versus off, um, a lot of things. So let's get started. So here's the microscope. There is this bright LED light and also a focus roller. It's pretty simple and easy to use. So let's go ahead and start on the cheek. Oh, that's my skin. It kind of looks like pork grinds. And then there's so much hair. Um, yeah, me and my sisters were all kind of hairy thanks to my mom. So I should probably consider dermaplaning after this. Now I'm moving up to my brow and you guys can see, oh my gosh, look at all of that short hair. So I'm just gonna take my tweezer right now. Do you guys see that tweezer? So you can see me in action now, so I'm just gonna grab one of that short hair and pluck it off. Okay, I think I got it. Ooh, that was a nice pull. And I see a little bit of blood there, but in real life, you can't really see it. Now I'm gonna show you guys my brow hair. I don't have a lot of hair, so this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, that looks so crazy. <gasps> okay, now let's move on down to the nose. Whoa, oh, is that my whiteheads? Oh, that is nasty. I didn't even know I had that many whiteheads. Okay, right here, it looks so smooth and nice, right guys? Look at that. But then, dun 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 dun, ew. So I recently started getting the sunspots. I think it's just in the genes, aging. Um, my parents, they both have it. So there is mine. I've been trying to wear as much sunscreen as possible. I'm trying to find my twin moles. Where are my twin moles? Thought I just saw them. Okay, where is it, where is it? Oh, I see the first one. Oh, it looks like melted brown sugar. Right guys, oh, that's so gross. Ooh, this one is even bigger. I always thought moles were really pretty, but I think I just changed my mind. I thought I should check out the lashes before and also after false lashes. So here is my lashes. I don't know why it looks so dirty right there. What is that? This must be like some fuzzies. Um, have you guys heard about people having lice on their lashes? I would be horrified if I just saw one <laughs> right now. Lastly, before I apply the makeup, I wanted to also see what my lips look like up close. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of lip hair. <laughs> okay, let's get up here. Oh, my teeth look really white. Okay, the lips actually look kind of nice. Um, so not bad, right? That is all for the bare face. I also want to show you guys what it looks like with makeup, but let's check out this dirty beauty blender. Ooh. Why is it so green like that? Oh my gosh, this looks like alien eggs or something. Oh. Why does it look like that? Like really dark inside, so something could be living inside there, who knows. <gasps> and this is the dirty side. <laughs> okay, that is not even a beauty blender. That looks like a rotten dead coral. I don't even know what to say. This is why you need to wash your beauty blender every time you use it. I quickly also want to see what a dirty brush looks like underneath before I do my makeup. So here's this little brush that's pretty, yeah, it's pretty gross. It's ready to be washed. So let's put the microscope. It's a lot of colors in the bristles. I see like yellow, white, gray, and then on the top, it just looks like a really ratchet old broom. Um, but yeah, it's pretty neat. All right, so I have full face of makeup on, the lashes, highlighter, bronzer. Um, it's gonna be very different from before. So let's start on the skin. Oh, that's actually not that different. It's a bit more orange, probably my bronzer. And then I see a lot of shimmer. Um, and the makeup is actually kind of flawless. I thought it was gonna be a lot more patchier. Oh, look at that mole. It's a nicely covered with the makeup. That's why it's invisible now. <gasps> Guys, makeup is awesome. 
trying to find the highlighter oh I see it right there oh my gosh that looks like a mermaid scale it's so beautiful and frosty so much glitter like jam-packed in there um, I could totally make this my phone wallpaper minus the hair okay, I'm trying to find the brows Oh, that's so bad. That looks like a tornado past it. There's like gunk stuck all over the brow hair. That's the brow fiber. And then there's also a brow pomade, like streaks of brow pomade that I see. Um, yeah, that is not a pretty sight. Like look here guys, perfect eyebrows, not so perfect. That right there is glitter on top of my eyelids. I thought it was blue glitter. See, it looks blue here. But in there, I see red, green, purple, everything, a mix of everything. And then you can also see a little bit of that dark blue eyeshadow and the brown that I blended on my lids. Okay, just below are my false lashes. And oh my gosh, I can also see the lash glue. It looks like a gray foam. Um, and see how the lashes are separated? There's like a bunch of hair, gap, and then a bunch of hair. The lashes got me curious about the hair in my head. So let me just place it right here. Oh, my scalp looks like jello. If I had to walk on that, my foot would probably get stuck. It's a little greasy. I see a piece of dandruff right there. But overall, the hair strand looks pretty healthy and it's a lot thicker than the brow hair. Lastly, here's the lipstick on the lips. It looks kind of sticky. Uh, almost reminds me of a grapefruit for some reason. Um, oh, you can also see the chapped part on my top lip. Oh, okay, okay, no more, no more, that's it, no more. That is enough. I think you guys saw things that you didn't even want to see. I'm so sorry, I probably should have warned you guys, but I had so much fun. Once this video is done, I'm gonna go look at more things around the house. I might even do a part two on my second channel if I find cool things to show you guys. So make sure you guys comment, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll be back with more fun content. Until next time, bye. Also guys, I posted another video. This is the most amazing and unique makeup hacks revealed. Everybody needs to watch this. So click the card or the link, whatever pops up.